Oh, it's swimming. Oh gosh, what the heck is this? Is that a turtle? Oh God, that's really big. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Colin J and we are back out here in the canoe. We're out here in this creek and we're about to go try to do some slab slaying. Uh, the slab queen caught a bunch of crappie last time we were out here and she's been begging ever since to get back out here yeah, and try to catch some more. we're not going to have it for much longer. Like this is the last year we're going to have it yeah, and for a long time. So that's a very valid it point. You can get it. <laughs> yeah, that's a very valid point and the fish are biting pretty good. The only thing is that we have some not so favorable, favorable crappie fishing conditions today. We're over here in the shade line right now. But we're about to go back out that way towards the back of the creek and it is bluebird skies and sunny. It's only going to get sunnier as the afternoon progresses. And normally I hear the fishing isn't as good when it is super sunny. Um, we like to be out here in the morning or the afternoon, but it just didn't work out to where we could fish either one of those time frames. <laughs> but we're out here and we're going to try to see what we can get into. Um, we're going to be throwing the crappie magnets. We got our, our crappie magnet kits um, from crappie magnet in the boat today and hopefully we'll be able to catch some good ones on that today. So guys, if y'all are excited to tune in today's adventure, do us a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and let's see if we can get some big old slabs in this canoe today. Let's go. We just made it over here where we're going to start fishing at. Real quick, I'm going to go over some of the things you can find in our crappie magnet bundles. Um, I got it all spread out here on this seat. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six different colors of crappie magnets. We've got some for some dark murky water. Then we've got some, you know, some shad patterns right here. These are a couple of our favorites, the killer clat, the show enough. And when you get some really dirty water, we've got these two right here. We got the glow pop, we got the isom, just a bunch of different options. You'll also find a couple of different sizes of the eye hole jigs. We've got 16th ounce pink, we've got 16th ounce orange, and we've also got 32nd ounce orange and 32nd ounce pink. And then you're gonna find a pack of some easy floats if you need to throw a bobber on there. And then the secret juice, it comes with the slab bites. These you can pair up with the eye hole jig heads. You actually insert the slab bite into the hole inside the head of the jig head. You can also tip the hook and just give your bait a little bit of additional scent that drives the slabs wild. So if y'all would like to check out our crappie magnet bundles, we'll have it linked in the video description. Um, when you purchase these, it helps support the channel, helps keep us out here creating crappie fishing videos for you guys. And obviously, as y'all have seen, we're, we're smoking fish on this stuff all the time. So check them out, link in bio. Let's get back over here and start catching some slabs. Fish on, digging, digging, digging. First one of the day. That's a good slab right there. He's rolling on the top. Come on in here. Come on in here. That's a big one, JJ. Yes, sir. There we go. First slab of the day is a slab. <laughs> That's a really nice crappie to get things going. Caught him on the killer clack colored crappie magnet. Got the 132nd ounce orange head. I got the jig head infused with some slab bites and he was just all about it. That's a stud. We're out here fishing in the middle of the day, which isn't the best for crappie fishing, especially when it's high skies and sunny like this, but we're making it work. This crappie obviously didn't get the memo that it's not a great time to eat a jig, but he had that crappie magnet come right by his face and he was all about it. Number one, let's get him strung up. Let's get him tied up. Let's catch another one. Oh, big one. Big one. Oh, did I snag something? Oh, you got a big, oh it's a big old crappie. Oh you snagged a big old crappie in the mouth is what you did. <laughs> Jeez, JJ. I really weird at first. Yeah, because he's got snagged in the mouth. <laughs> Bring him to this knit. Oh, baby. Oh, yes. Hey. That's a stud. Uh-oh, Jay the Slab Queen is on the board with their first slab of the day. Yes, yeah, this is a nice one. This is a dang good slab. 
and I am just pumped now. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, It's been a little bit slow. We've only had two bites from crappie so far. We've each caught either yellow bass and a little bluegill, but hopefully we'll find a spot and uh, they'll turn on. We actually just moved up here to this little zone and she caught that one on the first cast, but a big, beautiful white crappie. We're gonna put them on the stringer with the other one. I think we're gonna get more, for yeah, sure. I think so. <laughs> No way. Jay's hooked him again. Next cast. <laughs> Next cast. Get him, JJ. Flip him in the boat. Woo! Oh, that's a fatty. Jeez. Couldn't even get situated. I'm still like in the bottom of the boat. <laughs> yeah, that was my very next cast. Look at that. Just as slabby as the last one. Maybe I found me a secret spot. You might have. <laughs> that's a good one, JJ. Yes, it is. Oh my gosh. Look at the shoulders. Beautiful big white crappie. I guess I'll put him on the stringer too. I had just literally tied the knot. We need a bucket. We do need a bucket. We need to get back to our old bucket ways. Makes things a lot easier. Nice fish. Fish on. Tied up with the slab queen if I can land it. Feels like a good one. Feels like a really nice one. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. We got a Meg on there. Get the net, JJ. Get the net, JJ. Uh, uh. I was about to just flip him. I was like, let's just see. It. I was like, let's just see how this plays out. There we go. Another nice slab crappie. We've got four really good ones. They're all about the same size, probably in that like 12, 12 and a half inch range. And he just gobbled up that crappie magnet right there. Bottom jig. That's a good one. Let's get him on the stringer and get back in there. There must be a school of fish right here because that's three in like two minutes right here. Oh yeah. Good ones. That's four good slabs. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He got a jumper. He did not bite like a crappie. He bit just like a yellow bass. Now we got five good crappie. Five good crappie right there, guys. Look at that. That's our smallest of the day, and he's still good sized. Beautiful slab. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. You got him? Is that a crappie? Oh, flipping, 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 flipping. Yes, sir. He bit right by the boat. Ooh. That fish thumped it so hard, I was like in shock. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> he took off running. I didn't know if he had a white bass or he hooked a big yellow bass, but no, it's another good slab. Oh uh, yeah, that's a really nice one. I think that's oh number gosh. six. Heck yeah. Number six. Three for me and three for you. Tied up. I'll catch one on that cast. <laughs> what I say. It's big too. It's a big boy. Probably. I might have two on there. If that's even possible. It is possible. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Where's my net girl at? Where's my net girl at? There it is. Oh yeah. That was better than last time. That's biggest of the day for me at least. Thick belly. I think that's my biggest of the day. He's really not much longer, but he's just a little bit thicker, a little bit more of a bigger bellied fish. That's awesome. And he is, that's another one on the bottom jig for me. I think I've caught all my fish today on the bottom jig. I'm not sure if it's a color thing or if it's just the bottom jig thing. Um, this is the killer clat up there. I've shown enough. This one has an orange jig head. Um, I need to refill him up with some slab bites, but he smoked it. That was awesome. He felt so good. He bit at the very end of my cast, and I told Jay after I made that cast that I was feeling lucky. I felt like I was going to catch one. <laughs> Showing up, he busted it. Showing up. That's a good one. I think it's our seventh one. Man, these are good slabs. Heck these yeah. are really good slabs. <laughs> oh, he's by the bank. He's by the bank. Gotta keep. There we go. That's the smallest one. That's the smallest one. He's still a keeper. I guess they're all keepers, but he's a he's a real life keeper. Nice. I'll take it. They're right next to the bank. It's only like a foot deep over there. 
I was kind of burning it in a little bit faster, and he was all about it. Oh, Jay's going to get her a piece of it. I might put the bobber on and throw it at the bank a little bit. Stringer check, stringer check, stringer check. Ooh. It's a good miss. Yep. Smells like a good spot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is a big one. Look at the swirl on that thing. Is that a drum or a crappie? Big old crappie. Here's a net. There you go. There you go. That's a big one. Look at that. That is definitely the biggest of the day. Yep. All our ones are probably like that 12 inch size. And here's probably a 13. We'll measure when we get back. We have a bump board in the truck. We should have brought it with us. But that is a beautiful crappie, JJ. Yeah. We, we were just, just moved we're, spots. Yeah, we were moving to a new area because our, our other one kind of fizzled out. And we both, at the same time, you know, like, you can smell fish in the water. Yes. And it smelled very fishy right here. We're like, it's like yeah. the best smell in the world. We're like, yep, <laughs> this is where we're going to fish at. And um, that was your first, first cast. cast. It's a stud. <laughs> Huge slab. Heck yeah. Oh, it's swimming. Oh gosh, what the heck is this? Is that a turtle? You got a I think I got a catfish or something. It's big. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh god, that's really big. That's really big. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought I had a brush pile. I hope he ate it. I don't think he ate it though. I don't even know what the heck this is. Yeah, it could be snake. Yeah, it's really big. <laughs> I think I have four pound test on this. It's either four or six. That's so big. I need to pull this anchor up. What do you think it is? Might be like a giant flathead. That's what I was thinking. Is he swimming? He's just he's just sitting on the bottom right now. You might have a flathead. I don't know what I'm gonna do though. This is not the rig you want to have a flathead on exactly. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't know, can you? I mean, he's taking me, he's trying to get me. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I know he's like so far away though and there's brush piles everywhere. Can you, can you get that? Try to get that. Jay's gonna try to pull the anchor up. We're gonna try to have, we're gonna try to pull ourselves to this fish. Okay, big boss. Yeah, I see it. Other side, other side, other side, other side, Jay. Other side. I'm over there. Okay, Jay's paddling us over here towards this fish. Ain't no way. Yep, just keep paddling. He's swimming a little bit. He's swimming right, he's swimming left to right. I'm just sitting here. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Other side, other side, other side, other side. Other side. I think I see my leader. Okay, I see my leader. Hey, stop, 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 stop. He's just sitting there. Oh gosh, there he goes. Oh my goodness. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. What in the world? <laughs> I do not want him going over there. He's really going to mess up over there. Do you mean to paddle anymore? Or? I think he's got us. He's just pulling us around? He's just pulling us around. Taking us on a sleigh ride? Yeah, maybe he'll get tired. Surely. I mean, he's so big. I mean, I'm using five pound braid and either four or six pound leader. I'm not exactly sure. But he is taking us on a ride. Like the the leader knot's right there. My leader is only like five foot long, so we should be able to see him here soon if he comes to the surface. But he's definitely snagged, I think, in the tail. But he feels humongous. 
And this is a lighter action rod, but he feels humongous. Like, I'm scared if he breaks me off that I'm going to, like, fall backwards and flip this thing. Oh, gosh. Don't do that. <laughs> but I don't know how we're going to land him. We got the net, but he's definitely bigger than the net. But like I said, it's only four pound test. But there's the knot. You see it? I didn't see it. Oh, I'll I see it. Right I see there. it. Come on, fish. What are you? I don't, and I'm using, you know, these are just small 30 second ounce jig heads, so I don't know. They're really strong jig heads, but I mean, with the fish, how big this thing is, it's got to be a, it's got to be a flathead. It's got to be a flathead. He just seems like he's fighting like a flathead. I know, he's just down I mean, there. I'm not feeling it, but just the way I'm it's seeing so big. it. It's so big. It's so big. i do that. <laughs> oh gosh, don't break it. I keep seeing some bubbles. Oh my gosh. 15 pound bass. What is it? 15 pound bass. Oh, there's a fish on the top jig too. There's oh crap. There's literally a fish on the top jig. There's a yellow bass on the top jig. Oh my gosh, he's pulling us. He is pulling us. Look at the weight. I shouldn't be doing this. I'm trying to apply some pressure to him. I'm trying to keep him off the bottom. There's so many brush piles. I'm getting so nervous. I know, let me see you. Come on, fish. I don't want to put too much heat on him, but I just, you can't let him get down to the bottom. It's too snaggy. If he does what he wants to do, then we're done. Oh, crap. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. Come back up. Come back up. Come on, fish. Let me see your tail. Just let me see your tail. <laughs> oh. He's got to be hooked pretty good. I was hoping he had both hooks. Oh gosh, see that brush pot sticking up right there? Oh shoot. That's not what we want. Oh, see that fish? So I got a, I got a stupid yellow bass on the top hook. <laughs> oh shoot, he's heading for the brush pile. Oh my gosh. Nope. Oh no. No. Dang it. No. Ah, that I had to keep him out of the brush pile. Dang. No. Didn't bend the hook out or nothing. Dang it. No slime? No slime or nothing. Hmm. Like nothing. No flesh, no nothing. No bent out hook. See his, see his stick right here? Yep. Now That's we a, were way over there. It's a huge brush pile. <laughs> when, we, when you hooked into him. Oh, Dang. Oh, you're so close. I'm sorry. I know that hurts pulled a little too hard I think I just didn't want him to go into it so it's, it's, it's a huge brush pile oh oh well I don't know what it was I, don't, I really don't know I have no idea there's no slime on the line so I don't know I think it was hooked in the tail but I felt like it was hooked in the tail it was either like a big buffalo could have been a catfish I mean it made some serious runs but I felt like it was pulling me around like a buffalo honestly but Never know. Oh. <laughs> I should have stood up so I could see him a little better. All right, well, let's get back to catch some slabs. <laughs> Dang. No, man. What do you see? I don't see anything. Oh, okay. My line's just like stuck. Can you grab the end of it? Looks like you're pretty close. You caught a net. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you were I thought you were snagged. <laughs> I caught a net. Hey, that's a pretty there. That's a pretty nice net. <laughs> that's actually a really nice net. That was strange. Huh, well the net was stuck in a brush pile. I could feel it down there. But you legit <laughs> just caught ourselves a new net. Oh yeah. Nice one. That's a nice net. That's like catch of the day right there. <laughs> Stinky though. Maybe not. Oh, it's a big one. Jump in here. Let's go. We haven't had a bite in a while. I haven't had a bite since I lost that giant mystery fish. Um, <laughs> And I was just thinking about changing up colors, which I still might do. I might put the mermaid color on the top one. That's always a good one out here. And I mean, especially considering most of my fish are coming on this bottom jig 
That's a good slab. That might be my biggest of the day. I'm not sure. I've caught a couple about the same size, but just a quality fish overall. We just don't know where those like mega daddy slabs are at. Like we catch, we've caught a lot of, you know, two pound plus size fish out here. Um, and we just haven't seen any of that yet. We've caught, you know, a, a good many fish out here already this year, but none of them have eclipsed that two pound mark. And they've literally all looked just like this, which is solid. And I'm not complaining about it at all. So I am gonna make the color change. I'm gonna set this one over here. We decided to put it back on, but we're gonna swap to this color right here. This is called Mermaid. It's just this nice green and light blue fleck laminate color. I've caught a bazillion fish on this thing. Let's see if it works today. The water's honestly pretty stained out here too, so that might show up. It's not really a true chartreuse, but it's just kind of a kind of a mermaid green. It's a pretty jig. I bet the next fish I catch comes on that thing. Okay, so we're also going to do a little experiment. We're gonna put one slab bite on this top jig up here, since most of our fish are coming on that bottom jig, and see if that will help get one to bite that top jig. We got a new color, we got the slab bite inside the jig head, we've also got it on the hook. That should be smelly down there for a big old slab. Oh, got a little something. Uh-oh, what is that, bluegill? Bluegill ate the slab bite. <laughs> Well, he wanted that top jig. If he's a little bigger, we put him on the stringer. He was all about that little slab bite on there. Oh, I saw that. That's a good one. I'm gonna use your new net. I'm gonna use your new net. Get that, oh gosh. Need that reach. Hey, <laughs> used your new net. Yo, I like that new net. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's nice. And that's a really nice fish. Oh my goodness. And the bite has definitely slowed down. We're out here in the heat of the day. And normally when you have these bright bluebird sky conditions, the best time to be out here is morning and afternoon. But we're grinding it out. We're making it work and we're getting we're some good We're still getting slabs. some in the boat, yeah. We got a good mess on the stringer. <laughs> and we got and plenty of time a, to fill it That up. was a dang good bite. I saw it too. He I love it. fishing with these double jigs just because of the thump. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the best thing ever. It's like <laughs> That's a big one. Get your heart going. <laughs> big boy. Big boy. Big thick boy. Wow. Got him. That one was weird. I felt the bite, but then I didn't feel anything else. It was like he just threw a bunch of slack in it, and then I felt him again, just kind of swimming with us. He was just he was just chewing on that thing. He was probably soaking up the flavor of that slab bite. He was on that bottom jig, really getting all of our bites on our bottom jigs, it seems like. I mean, I would say 90% of our fish we've caught today have been on the bottom jig. And I'm really not sure why. Oh snap. Oh snap. Is that a drum? I think that's a crappie. I got your new net. I got your new net. Bring him this way. Nice. Okay, he's not as big as I thought he was. But he's still whoa. big. He's still a good one. I thought he was like massive. <laughs> like my PB. Oh gosh. That's another good one, JJ. Yeah, I honestly think I was hung up a little bit. Maybe he got me unhung because he felt heavy. Yeah, it must, must, I mean, there's a lot of brush piles in this one little area right here. So we were thinking that this would be a good spot to try out. And that was your first or second cast yeah. out there, right? Yeah. Every time, we, every time we make a move, we get some fish. <laughs> Our last couple spots have been kind of stale. So yeah. maybe this will be the one. They're all big white crappie out here. Mm-hmm. Awesome. All right, guys, so we just got off the water. Uh, the bite pretty much died on us, but the bite's actually fixing to probably start turning on, but we got places we gotta be this afternoon. But we Dang did manage it. to get a pretty good score of fish down in our cooler. Oh yeah. Show us the catch, big boss. We got a, we got a string. We got a string, oh baby. They're all just really nice size. Just a bunch of really nice slab crappie. I think we had 15 on there. So not as many as last time, but we were out here at the worst time of the day. Yeah. If we were here in the morning or afternoon. Or if it was cloudy. Or if it was cloudy, yeah. we could have probably done some more damage, but that's definitely a good string. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take that all day. <laughs> I, had a, I had a great time out there.